Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to show you how to create a multi-composition DCP, which means a DCP with selectable subtitle tracks. A single reel composition in a DCP always has one video track and one audio track, and optionally a subtitle track, but that's not needed. Each composition can only have one subtitle track, and if you need more subtitles, you need to create a composition for each subtitle track. In this example, the video and audio tracks are going to be the same for all compositions. And we are going to add three subtitle tracks, which means that we are adding three languages. The subtitle files used in this tutorial comes directly from the translator, so we are not going to create the subtitle files from scratch but I'm going to show you two applications to be used for converting the subtitle files to something that QTCP tools can read. The first application is Subtitle Edit for Windows. You can find it here on this address. And the second one is Belle Nuit for Mac and it can be found on this address. These two applications are open source and they are completely free to use. Let's start the subtitle edit application and I will open my, uh, one of my subtitle files. Uh, I have two English versions, two Swedish and two Swahili versions. Uh, they are in SRT format and STL format. So I, I start with the English one and I will open the SRT file. Open. Here are all the subtitles that we're going to add to the DCP. But it's one thing that we need to check before we are exporting this to another format. Okay, we go to File. No, we need to change the format to, to DCinema Interop. Uh, you can select the other one too, but I select the DCinema Cinema Interop format and UTF-8 encoding format. And then we are selecting the go to file and dcinema properties and here is one thing that you need to set maybe two uh, the size 42 that is the default size for a digital cinema and it's fine and you can select an effect for the subtitles I think border is a pretty good one you can select shadow or if you don't want anything at all none I go for border and the color is pure black and that's good and the color for the for the text is white pure white is also good and this is it I will then save as that's good and the same location save all done and I will do the same thing with, with the second subtitle uh, we have the English and let's go for the Swedish. I select STL this time. Change format to uh, Digital Cinema. I will pick the Semte style. It doesn't matter because QTCP tools will reformat the subtitles being imported. So do whatever you want. Encoding, uh, I don't know, but I select UTF-8. I think that's the safest will always work and save right and the third subtitle file we are going to open in Belle Nuit so I will switch over to my Mac here we are on the Mac and I have already opened the Belle Nuit subtitle editor let's import the subtitles go to file import and select which subtitle format your subtitle files has we select STL they are named here as EBU STL binary. Then choose 24 FPS. This project is a 24 FPS project. Text encoding UTF-8 is fine and then press import. Select the STL subtitle file. And then press create document. This is the property window for the imported subtitle file and we need to make some changes to it. We are selecting font size 44 because font size 42 doesn't exist for some reason. Then we select text color, we want it pure white. 
we are changing the opacity of the border to 100 and the border color to pure black. These settings are the position settings, horizontal and vertical for the subtitles. I found that these settings are pretty good and I'm happy with that. Then go to File, Export List. We are selecting DLP Cinema, which is the interop format. The center format is called Digital Cinema Distribution Master Subtitle, but we select DLP Cinema. The font tag is checked. Press the preview button to see the content of the file to be exported. And you can see right here that the font size is set to 32 for some reason. We need to change that later with the text editor. We are done here, just click export. The file name is OK, click export again. Here is a converted and newly exported subtitle file. It's an XML file. I'm going to open it in the text editor and change the font size from 32 to 42. Save and close the XML file. Now it's time to add all these subtitle files, English, Swedish and Swahili to our DCP. Let's import our base DCP. Go to File, Import, QTCP Tools, Import DCP. Here is the DCP. Let's open the composition. This composition only contains a video track and an audio track, nothing more. I'm going to duplicate this composition a couple of times. Each composition will contain the same video and audio track, but each composition will have its own subtitle track. We will also create a composition without a subtitle track, so we have the possibility to switch off the subtitles if needed. I call the composition without subtitles XX. Then duplicate it a couple of times. Let's rename each composition so you know where the subtitles should be added. English, Swedish and Swahili. Select the English composition and then go to File, Import, QTCP Tools, Import Subtitle to Composition. First, select the English subtitle file, the XML file we recently converted. Then select the language from the drop down menu it's English. The subtitle type is Open Subtitles, which is the one we are going to use. There is another choice, which is Closed Caption, and it's not for on-screen subtitles. Instead, it is used for a closed caption device. Now press Import, and all the subtitle is added to the selected composition. Here you can see that a new track has been added to the composition. We are doing the same procedure with Swedish and Swahili subtitles. The language selection for Swahili is not available, so we set this to not selected. When all subtitles are added, it is time to repackage the DCP. Go to File, Export, QTCP Tools, Repackage. Here are all the subtitles being processed. The first thing we are going to do in the export dialog is to give all the four compositions a proper content title. Select the English composition and then press Title Helper. Film title is Turning and the content type is short, projector aspect ratio flat, spoken language is English, and subtitles are English. 5.1 surround mix, and the standard is interop, and package type is original version, OV. Instead of using the title helper for all the compositions, I do a copy-paste 
of the title and then manually change the subtitle field. Here we have all four compositions. We are also setting the name for the output folder of the DCP. And then select what we want to do with the track files, the audio and video files from our base DCP. Copy is the default choice, but a copy of the audio video track could easily be hundreds of gigabytes and take some time to do. Instead I will go for the move option. It will move the audio and video files from the imported base DCP. Just keep in mind that it will break the DCP because of the missing files. I'm leaving the rest as it is and then press export. The warnings you can see here is because of that we choose to move the audio and video files they are missing from our imported DCP. Now when we are done with our multi-composition DCP let's check so we don't have done anything wrong. Let's import our newly repackaged DCP Here are all the subtitle track files. I'm going to open the composition with English subtitles. And then open the subtitle track files to verify the subtitles. And it looks good. Let's then open the composition with Swedish subtitles. And the subtitle track file. And it looks also fine. At last, open the composition with Swahili subtitles and also open the subtitle track file. I can immediately see that we have made a mistake here. We have added Swedish subtitles to the Swahili composition. Let's fix it. I start to remove the subtitle track file from the Swahili composition. I also remove it from the project, but it's not needed. Then select the Swahili composition, then go to File, Import, QTCP Tools, Import Subtitle to Composition. Select the subtitle file that contains the Swahili subtitles. And we can check right away that it's OK. It looks fine. Let's repackage it again. Select the DCP folder in the project window and then go to File, Export, QTCP, Tools, Repackage. I'm not going to change any of the content title for the compositions. I'm happy with them. I give the DCP output folder a revision bump by adding a dash 2 at the end. And at last change it to Move. Press Export and we are done. And here are the warnings again, and you know why we are getting them, right? So, now we are done with this tutorial. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the QTCP forum. You can see the link here, or just ask them in the comments below. Cheers and goodbye.